Hello and welcome to another one of my videos back on the channel. Today we are here, as you can see there is a strange um, image in front of me, and it's an image I drew, and you'll see a time lapse of it in a second, and it's just a character concept for BFN, so yeah, we'll get into the time lapse straight away and I'll see you after. <laughs> Right, I'm here. As you can see, here is the plant I created in the little, um, the speed, the speed drawer, <laughs> I'm going to call it, of um, plant food, which is what I've called it. It's a very inventive name. I don't really know what to call it. If you have a better suggestion, you can leave it in the little comments. But yeah, so I'm just going to kind of explain how this character works, how he works, and yeah, let's get into it. So, here's the support straight away. You can probably tell with like the plus symbols, it's kind of, is a support character, and Plant Food in Plants vs Zombies 2 is a support, like, thing, <laughs> a gimmick. He does 8 damage, and on critical damage he does 10, so that's like, I guess, for the head, he does 10 damage, and it's a burst, so it shoots 3 bullets at a time. So, so, kind of like Pops Corn in Garden Warfare 2, if you remember him. He has 125 health, and his size is, he's like that tall compared to Citron. So he's, I didn't want to make him too small, because I know there's a lot of small and annoying characters in BFN, e.g. Nightcap, Imp, and Acorn. So I didn't really want to make him too small, so he's, he's quite, he's also quite wide as well, he's, he's flat though, so from the side he would be really thin, so you can't really shoot him from the side, it can either be from the back or front, which makes it quite interesting. Um, okay, his abilities, so his first one is Whirlwind, and a tornado of leaves will circle around a teammate, so you will like shoot some leaves and they link to a teammate and then they kind of start circling it, like the um, leaf shield Torchwood has in Garden Warfare 2. So it just kind of circles them, and it lasts for 10 seconds, it's not that long, but it'll block damage, so that's quite good. Right, his second ability is the buff, um, which will basically be like Sunflower's heal beam, but buffing instead. So a green beam will link up to someone, 
and it will increase their damage. I'm not sure by how much, maybe like 25%, 50%, not not that much. I wouldn't want to make it. And then it's it's basically Hover Goat's buff beam in Garden Warfare 2. So he's kind of like a bit like Torchwood and Hover Goat kind of combined. And looks like this. Uh, the Leaf Trap, his third ability, the most interesting one, I think. Well, it's original. So he will lay on the floor flat. So because he is flat, if he just lies on the floor flat, he'll basically be on level with the floor. So if a zombie was to then walk over him, they would take 25 damage. And they would like kind of, and then after you, you've been activated, you'll spring it back up. And then you have a two minute cooldown, if that makes sense. So he lies on his front. So it's just his back showing. And if a zombie walks on, like over him, he's basically a potato mine. He becomes a potato mine. So that could be quite interesting for like when you're on a point and you want to kind of kill people on it. You could just lie there flat, and then if someone walks on to you, you just do 75 damage. So it can instantly kill an imp and do a lot of damage. So it's a good way to hide. The only problem with it is uh, so when you do lie on the floor flat, obviously you look, you're kind of sticking out if you're on a map like Goopy Gully, you're just this green pad just <laughs> lying on the floor, so you, you'd you want to do it in a place where people might just kind of run around the corner and they just like stand on you. And that that's it, so you I hope you enjoyed the time lapse, that's the word I was looking for earlier on, and this is just my character. I will do one for zombies eventually, and then I'll probably do another for plants, and yeah, I'll switch back and forth, but it's a bit of a different video. So, yeah. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.